So hydrotherapy pools are pools that are predominantly used for aquatic physiotherapy in medical settings like hospitals, but they can also be um, found in special needs schools as well. And they're quite a bit smaller than a standard swimming pool, not really that much bigger than a spa pool. So the reduced volume will mean that there's an increased level of relative pollution potentially. The small volume of water isn't going to be able to cope as well with any influx of pollution. And the temperature is usually much higher in a hydrotherapy pool than in a standard swimming pool. So we're talking somewhere in the region of 34 to 35 degrees C. So not quite as warm as a spa pool, but quite a bit warmer than a standard swimming pool. And there's an increased risk of Legionella growth potentially and Pseudomonas aeruginosa as well. And depending on what type of water features there are, there could be the possibility of a release of or the creation of aerosol if it's got water features like jets. So patients are at an increased risk simply because they are likely to be immunocompromised. They could be recovering from uh, surgery. They, they could have wounds. And even in a special needs school, the type of people that would be using the facilities could well be immunocompromised as well. Plus the fact that there's also a potentially increased risk of faecal contamination. And there's been a, a increased use of hydrotherapy pools as teaching pools for babies and toddlers because they do make, in one respect, an ideal type of pool for that because they're much warmer and the use of hydrotherapy pools for baby and toddler swimming it's not to say that it can't be done but there are increased risk factors so the decision to run swimming lessons for babies and toddlers out of a hydrotherapy pool should only be done after a very thorough and robust risk assessment so some parameters in relation to hydrotherapy pools the chlorine level should be kept between 1 to 1.5 milligrams per liter there's the potential to reduce that down to 0.5 to one milligram per liter if you're using a secondary disinfection system like ozone or ultraviolet. The pH level should be kept between 7.2 to 7.4. In terms of filtration, it should be medium rate filtration rather than high rate filtration. And that is anywhere between 11 to 25 meters cubed per square meter per hour and the filters should be backwashed either according to the manufacturer's recommendations in terms of the filter pressure readings at the inlet and the outlet or at the very least every week and filtration should be supplemented by uh, coagulation such as polyaluminium chloride. Another key difference between hydrotherapy pools and standard swimming pools is the frequency of microbiological testing. So for a standard swimming pool, standard microbiological testing would be done on a monthly frequency, but for hydrotherapy pools, it needs to be done on a weekly frequency. And also for hydrotherapy pools, they need to monitor specifically for Legionella bacteria in addition to the standard microbiological monitoring, which doesn't include Legionella. So they need to uh, 
similar to sparples, test the water for the to confirm the absence of legionella bacteria on a quarterly basis. And like I said, that's in addition to the weekly standard microbiological monitoring.